system set the black out going calls? Oh, that's a good question. Um, maybe about 30 minutes or so into dinner. That way everybody gets an opportunity to, you know, send texts and photos to their family and friends. And of course, you know, everybody loves to post photos of their food nowadays. So mm -hmm. more photos would mean well, it would mean more exposure and more sales. And more sales would mean more money. <laughs> Don't you love it when everybody does their part? <laughs> I surely do. Yes. All right, so let's Woo. go over the rules again. Mm -hmm. The groups come in. Right. I collect each of their keys and place them in this box, and I lock it. OK, OK. They're each given one of these colors. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. There are clues hidden all around this house, and they must use these clues to find the combination to get the key to unlock this box so they can get their keys and leave here. The first group to get out wins that $10,000. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, what I don't understand is how do you intend on cashing in that $10,000 check? I mean, I was looking at your ledger last night, ma'am, and uh, you don't have that type of revenue. In fact, you're eighty thousand dollars away from being bankrupt yourself. I don't even understand how you're keeping me on. Okay, well that's why I said that's the plan, because we both know I'm not doing this for the fun of it, right? What do you mean? What do you have up your sleeve? Okay, I wasn't going to say anything because I know how you get. But the truth is, I never really guaranteed that anyone would win the money. But what is a guarantee is that if they want to play the game, they'll pay 500 bucks a piece to get up in here. Oh, Rebecca, come on. Yes. What? What? Come on, what? What are you talking about? I know you are not trying to chicken out on me right now. Because you know what? We are in this together. As a matter of fact, it was your idea in the first place. Yes, but I didn't think we would be able to pay out. 
How? How are we supposed to do that, Butler? Well, you always seem to come up with it before. What makes this even different? Exactly. So this is me coming up with it. And what were you doing going through my ledger? Well, I was trying to get ahead of the game and have the funds available now, but now I can see why we can't do that. Well, thank you for your incentive, but don't you ever let that happen again. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Well, now that we know that no one's going to win the game, and I am the only one who knows where the clues are and have the You know what? I've been meaning to, to talk to you about that. Now, the way I we see agreed, it. we agreed that you would be in the game, that you would get bored and tap out any minute. We need someone to keep the momentum going. Okay, but I should at least know where the clues are, but let's... That's what's gonna make it fun for you, too. Okay. <laughs> let me see if I got this right, okay? Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is, I don't know who the guests are. I won't know where the clues are. And I won't have the combination to get out of here. So I'm going to be stuck on the property with everybody else. How is that fun for me? Just like it will be for everybody else. Until it isn't. What? Rebecca, listen, I've been with you for a long time. And I know all there is to know about you. And I'm still here. You would think by now that you would trust me. Well, I did, but... Well, then that's settled. Rebecca, tonight is going to be full of twists and turns that you'll never forget. And we're going to rake in enough revenue to get things back on track. How about that? Mm -hmm. yeah, you're right! Exactly! <laughs> you get me! You get me! Oh. You know what? You had me scared for a second. I was like, what? But now I know. You know, we're doing this together. And you know. Everything I do, I do for the both of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Besides, this time, I'm not even taking their money. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're actually just giving yeah. it to me. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Hey, now, more important things. Right. So, what? Shall I wear? <laughs> uh, I think I'd go with the black one. Yeah, it goes well with your red wine. You think so? Yes. Hmm. Okay, maybe you're right. <laughs> oh, and, and, and one last thing. Yes. Are you bringing the pizzazz and all that jazz? Oh, don't you worry about a thing, Rebecca. Tonight will be a night full of twists and turns that you'll never forget. Oh, wait a minute, what are you getting ready to do with my wine? I'm gonna put it right there where you sit at because I'm gonna serve the guests the wine that's at the bar. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm going to get dressed. Come on, Grandma. You rushed me the whole time up here. And then you wait till we get here to start moving slow? Start moving slow? I've been moving slow and I'm gonna keep moving slow. Do you know how long that ride was? Grandma, I drove. Then you should know. I know you slept for most of the ride. This whole thing was your idea, and I'm the one stuck doing the labor. Oh boy, please, what you know about labor? Labor's what I went through birthing your mom so that she could have the life up and strength to birth your little spoil behind. Grandma, can you just come on? It's creepy out here. Well, yeah, you're right about that. I ain't expected to be this far out. Me neither. I wonder how long it would take help to come if we needed it. Help for what? These are good people. I heard about it at Bingo, down to the Catholic Church. Even more of a reason to have the police on speed, though. The police for what? They can't do no more than what my guards can do. Oh, God. That's right. Call them up and tell them what you want. I want to go home. Not to ask me to win this money. Grandma, I'm not even sure the money is even worth it. Oh, it will be. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh. The, oh. I'm out, Grandma. Jeez. I'm out. I'm leaving. Wait. So here, you big kid, baby. Grandma, this is not safe. I think we should go. Now listen, we gonna go in here and we gonna win this money if it is the last thing I do. And you ain't got no reason to be scared as long as I'm standing next to you because I am covered by grace. Well, Grandma, you have every reason to be scared if you're standing next to me. 
because I will be covered in boy you watch your mouth grandma I wanna go home all right now all that stops next out here embarrassing me embarrassing you in front of who we're in the middle of nowhere with no help in sight all my help comes from the oh. Oh. that's right come on here boy let's go get this money Welcome to the Great Escape. We all have a night of fun to die for. I'm the butler. Please follow me. Mama, can you just say to die for? You heard that too, right? Is that you see where we should go? Mm -hmm. Right on in. As you can see, you are the first two contestants to arrive. I hope this place wasn't too hard for you to find. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I mean, it was a little bit brighter than what I thought it would be. How would you know? You snore for most of them. Oh. oh, all right. Well, please feel free to have a seat right here in the family room or go in the dining room and partake in some refreshments while we await for the other guests to arrive. Mama, you don't have to hit me like that. Look, all that back and forth stops now. It is us against every other team that is coming here tonight. Yeah, it's me and you against them, the animals, the ghosts, the dark, the woods. Need I go on? And... None of them have the secret weapon that we have. What's that? Jesus! Well, Grandma, I sure hope y'all are good friends, because we may be going over his house sooner than we expected. Please, shut up. Oh, my goodness, Cass. I'm so excited. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to reclaim my life. If you say so. Linda, are you sure about this? Of course I'm sure, girl. Do you know what $10,000 can do for us? Yeah, we can certainly use the money, but... No but, Cass. You promised you were in this with me. I spent every dime that I had to get us these tickets. You can't afford to back out on me now. Look, I never said I was backing out. But, Linda, look around. You can't possibly think this is the best idea. I think this is an amazing idea. I got an overnight trip with my sister, and it's going to pay out handsomely. This is great. Trip. Linda, this is not a vacation. It could be if you let it. It's just like one of those reality TV shows where they're sent out into the wild, and they got to learn how to survive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We can do that. This is going to be so much fun. Come on, Kat. Oh, my God. Welcome <laughs> to The Great Escape. We all have a night of fun to die for. I'm the butler. Please, follow me. Say a night to die for? Yeah, but don't worry about all that. Just, just come on in. Grandma, what are you doing? These people are all competition. The game ain't start yet, son. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, it did. Please excuse my sister. She's just a little excited. <laughs> little curve about to reclaim my life. Or lose it. Excuse me, but are you threatening me, young man? Didn't you just hear the butler say a night of fun to die for? Well, guess who's not dying? Linda, let's just go have a seat and wait for instructions. Please feel free to partake of any appetizers here in the dining room while we await for the other guests to arrive. I wonder how many guests entered. The more, the merrier. Why? That's more competition. More people for me to demolish. Are you sure I'm confident, Miss? Linda. Linda Irvin. Oh, okay. Well, how you doing, Miss Irvin? I'm Myrtle Jackson. And you can call me Miss Myrtle. Or better yet, you can call me the one that is here again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Feisty one. I think I like Miss Myrtle. Right. How you doing? I know this may be scary for you, son. And this may be a bit different. But I'm here. And I think this might be an opportunity for us to have some father-son time as well. Look, when we go in here, Stay close to me, follow my directions, and everything will be cool. You got me? Cindy. Huh? Man, you had your earbuds in the whole time? Do you know what we're walking into, son? This is not a game. I'm confused. I thought this was exactly what it was. It's a game, but not that type of game, son. <laughs> well, what kind of game is it? The 
type of game where we can win ten thousand dollars. I just won a hundred thousand dollars on Candy Crush, Dad. Nah, that's fake. This is real money. You know how things have been tough for me since I lost the business. We need this money, and I need you to help me if we're gonna have any chance of winning. <laughs> me? <laughs> well, what can I do? <laughs> Man, you know how good you are with games and puzzles. <laughs> well, we're gonna need that brain power for us to get out of here. Well, we just turn around and go back that way. No, 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 no. When we walk in here, they're gonna lock the doors. So we gotta be smart enough to get out, son. Well, it seems we should be smart enough not to go in in the first place. Trust me. With your brain power <laughs> and my brawn, we have no choice but to win this thing, man. Let's go. All right, Dad. The Candy Crush is much more fun than this. Welcome to the Great Escape, where you'll have a night of fun to die for. I am the butler. Please, follow me. What in the world? Tell you, we just got here, man. You making a mess, man. Come on, get up. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's okay. It's, okay. it's, it's all right. Everyone's a little jumpy in here. Hey, jumpy? I'm not jumpy. I'm out. Man, you done got her worked up again. Hello, everybody. My name Enemy is... Enemy is your name. Shall I sit down before you break something? Is you high? Can't be just as high. What? Because it, it, no. that, that's an unfair advantage if she's how some sort of illegal substance. Excuse me, who do we speak with about a, 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 a team member being tweaked out on some sort of performance enhancement drug that's putting us all in harm's way? Uh, Miss Murder, my sister is not high. She is just super excited about our soon to be $10,000. Say that, sis, yeah. So you want to rumble with the queen bee, huh? Buzz, buzz. Uh, Mr. Paul and Junior, Please, have a partake in He's something. telling y'all to go in there and go eat some appetizers or sit down. Dad, I'm gonna go get some food. Screw what you do. Grandma, come on before your head give out. We still got a whole night to go. Okay, you sound very good. Let's rest up. Let's this money. Come on, babe, you said you would get us a chance. There's no point in us coming all the way out here if we're just going to fight. I said I would give this a chance, but that was before I knew we spent the last little bit of our savings for this game. We don't have money to waste, Mike. I know, babe, but I really believe we can win this. You got to trust me. Trust? We are nowhere near a place of trust in this marriage. I trusted you before you cheated on me. I did not cheat on you. Going on a date preparing to cheat is the same as cheating. You allowed that woman into your heart and mind, Mike. The only reason it stops is because she stopped it. Not that simple, Erica. Why isn't it? She got what she wanted from you, so she no longer needed you, and threw you away like a used sock. She didn't use Like me. an old crusted up sock. Erica, stop. Sock. Are you in this with me or not? I'm not trying to go in here and be made a fool of. I thought we were past all this. I thought you said you were ready. Did you lie? Are you going to try to make this work? Because if not, we can leave now. I'll take the financial loss for the game ticket. Okay. All right. Right. I'm sorry. I just get so mad when I think about you and that woman. No, babe. I'm the one that should be sorry. I screwed up, and I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to prove to you that, I can, that you can trust me again. You're right, Mike. We need this. We're going to go in here and win this money and start to grow again. Just us. That's what I want to hear. Let's go. Welcome to the Great Escape, where you'll have a night of fun to die for. I'm the butler. Please, follow me. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? I'm Paul. That's my son, Jenny, right now. I'm Mike, and uh, this is my wife, Erica. Has anything started yet? No, not yet. Um, we were told you can either sit here or you can partake of some appetizers in the dining room. Hey, baby, you want something to eat? Mm-hmm, it's a little spooky in here, babe. A little? What the fuck is this? Well, but things are a bit more strange than expected. All right, can everyone assemble in the family room?
Well, now that we're all settled, I will explain the rules of the game. So, you don't want to charge? <laughs> well, if that's the case, you can cut us the check now. <laughs> <laughs> In your dreams. Uh, but that is a valid question. Continue, Butler. I am not the host. I am the host's assistant. The host will be down to greet you momentarily. But the rules are as follows. Each of you are paired into groups of two. I will retrieve each of your keys and lock them in this box. Your group has a color designated to you specifically. Each of you must wear this color representing your teams at all times. Throughout this house and the outer front courtyard only are clues that will lead you to a combination and lock key. You must use the clues to find the combination to unlock the box and retrieve your keys. The first team to get the full combination is the winner and will receive the $10,000. Please remember you must stay with your partner. It's either both of you or neither of you. You can't win this alone. Does anybody, everybody understand? Yes. yes. Now, I will go lock the box myself. Remember, I'm the only one who knows where all of the clues are and have the combination up here. And if y'all want to get out of here, somebody has to win. All right. Now, can you all follow me to the dining room while I go unlock your box and bring up your dinner? Your host will be now momentarily to greet you. <laughs> here we go. Shh. be cool. Wow, girl, we're supposed to be fun. That's what I thought. But as you can see, no fun to be around. Come on, Junior. We all stuck in here now. We might as well just make the best stop. That's what I'm talking about. Put your hand down. We ain't come here to make friends. Well, Grandma, ain't that the Christian thing to do? When did you become Christian? It must have been when you heard that noise outside and almost peed on yourself. Grandma! Uh -huh. well, at least we get to eat first. We start. I wonder what they serving. From the way it looks in here, I say human flesh. Well, I mean, if it's season right, then... Let's stop that. That's nasty. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I could eat the candy out of Junior's Candy Crush candy right now. Great, eat the little bit of fun I am having. Junior, come on, man. Lighten up. Things will look up soon enough. Welcome to Great Escape. Oh. It's you! <laughs> what are you doing here? I can't believe this. Kathy, hold my earrings and get the Vaseline off the bed. <laughs> You're right, Dad. Things are looking up. Let the games, games begin. 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 Guess list from. Your ledger, ma'am. Why would you do that? You know I have history with these people. And by history, we mean that she is the one who screwed over all of us. Well, who this woman, Dad? She's the woman who ruined me, son. She sued me over that property that I fixed up on First Street, claiming that it was unstable and, and incompetent. Somebody supposedly got hurt on the property. She told the judge that it was my fault that he got hurt real bad. Think about it. There's no supposedly any harm. You were the one who refurbished the property. I give a hundred percent on every one of my customers. I would never ask that. So then, how do you explain what happened? If you're asking me, I believe you sabotaged it. You paid somebody to take the fall, then sued me, just so you could get the money. <laughs> Prove it. Wait, wait, Paul, what was the house on First Street? Where was it? Oh, God. 209 First Street. What? Grandma, that was your house. I know. I know. Ridiculous. That's the house that was stolen from you. Hey, nothing was stolen. That's a lie. You swindled that woman, and I helped you do it. Miss Myrtle, she tricked me. No, she seduced you and stole company information. <laughs> she stole my keys and my system logon information and got a list of all the elderly customers I gave loans to. She knew you were close to losing your home and that you'd be desperate. So she conned you into signing over your house to her, paid you a lump sum, and told you she would buy your mortgage. That way you could live the rest of your years there, right? Mm -hmm. That was always a lie. 
She wanted your property to try and flip it quickly. And I helped her do it. Mike, this is not your fault. This is not your fault. And don't worry about this Viper, because she gonna get hers soon enough. You're absolutely right. Bring it. Come on. I want you to. She's not worth it. <laughs> okay, let me go. I wanna kill her. <laughs> Oh no, Linda. She's not worth it. This is how she got you before. I will not let this snake be responsible for sending you back to jail again. Uh, snake? Are you talking about me? First of all, I did nothing of the sort. Your sister got herself locked up because she's a thief. Up. Oh. And a liar. Hey, let me go. I'm going to get my hands on you and strangle you. Bring you back to life and strangle you again. You think this is funny? Mm -hmm. Me and my sister lost everything because of you. You gave her stolen designer clothes. Mm -hmm. Set her up to take the fall off for an insurance scam. How do you look at yourself in the mirror? It's quite easy. <laughs> so wait a minute, wait a minute. This woman seduced you to get the nearing foreclosure home information. Conned you into selling her your house hired my father to fix the house after she forced you out, then sued him for contractor safety negligence, took all that money, invested in stolen designer clothes, got them insured, then sold them to you, then framed you for stealing the stolen clothes, and then filed an insurance claim on the stolen clothes? Is that about summing up? Yep, game over. Time to go. Might I remind each of you that you signed the contract to complete the game. If either of you leave before completing the game, you lose the game and your money. I don't care. Come on, honey, let's go. Mighty Nate, I know this is a bad situation, but we don't have money to lose. We need this. We need this bad. I know, but honey, I don't want you to be tormented by looking at this woman's face. And by this woman, you mean the one that you were so willing to leave your wife for? You are out of your mind. I would have never left my Stop. wife for you. Baby, this woman means absolutely nothing to me. This test will show me just how over this I am. We won already, baby. She lost. Excuse me. Hello. Actually, you both lost. But then that's none of my business now, is it? I don't feel comfortable staying here all night. This woman is not to be trusted. Who's to say me and my son are going to be safe? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Each of you all will have your own weapon. Weapon? Are we in danger? Of course not. That said, this is a game of Survivor. See, you all are so focused on Rebecca that you're not even looking at each other. These weapons are not about hurting one another, but protecting your teammates. Of course, if you feel as though a weapon is not necessary. Oh, no, no, I want my weapon. You got a machine gun in there? A missile or something? Uh, excuse me, but... <laughs> I mean, do you think this is a really good idea right now, considering the circumstances? Rules are rules, ma'am. Now, for Linda, I have the nunchucks. For Kathy, I have the saw. Mike, you will have the rope. Here you go. Erica, you will have the poison. Philip, you will have the mallet. Paul, you'll have the knife. Junior, you'll have the hammer. And for you, Miss Murder. Stop right there. Miss Murder don't need nothing but the full armor of God. Grandma, everybody has a weapon. I think you should take a weapon. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Grandma. It shall not prosper. Miss Murder, Miss Murder, please. Maybe you should reconsider. I mean, you should have something tangible with you. I do, my purse. Excuse me. But what exactly can a purse do? Young man, this person gave more whoopings than you gave greetings down through the years. My God and my purse is all Miss Myrtle me. I, I, I'll take it. <laughs> you know, it's just a game, but it's only fair that um, I'll be protected also, right? <laughs> uh, absolutely, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. All right, now that everyone is settled and protected, I will bring out the dinner. Please, let's gather in the dining room.
Paul, being as though you're already armed with the knife, you think you could, um, what, call the turkey? Man, this ain't no family meal. Somebody better pull a leg off or something. You know what? I always knew you were a scavenger. You might want to say less. You might not want to talk to me that way in my house. Hey, get that gun out my father's face. Then tell your daddy to mind his manners. Yeah! Oh! 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 trying to steal the clues and the keys to where the combination and the lock were. No, Butler said he had the combination up here. Well, what about the clues, guys? I want to get out of here as bad as everybody else, but I ain't gonna kill nobody to do that. What's wrong with y'all? What did y'all kill my Butler? Oh my God, poor Butler! How do we know it wasn't you? What? You were just as close as Paul and had access to the knife. You know what? You're ridiculous. I'm calling the police right now. That's the best news I've heard all night. Don't know why. By the time they find us back in this wilderness, we'll be like either the butt or the turkey. Oh, no, we won't. I told you. I got God on my side. Come on in. Both me and my grandson walking up out of here. Well, isn't that just selfish thinking, Miss Myrtle? What about the rest of us? Would your God let something happen to the rest of us? You hush your mouth. My God is faithful and true. He reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Well, Grandma, you think you can give him to sprinkle a little bit of rain on the killer just so we know for sure who it is? Hello? There's a dead body laying right here on the floor, and y'all over here talking about God's reigning. Well, we see who won't be getting rained on. Me and my wife will be fine. Did anybody call the police? The serpent over there was supposed to be calling. If you're referring to me, I did call, but the line went dead as soon as I started telling him what was going on. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me after all the money you just swindled out of all of us, you couldn't afford to pay the phone bill? First of all, it had nothing to do with the bill. We had planned for the phones to go off in the middle of the game. Here y'all go with this game talk again. Can we just agree that whatever this was, game or not, it's over now? Absolutely not. We came to win this money. What good is the money going to be if we all get locked up for murder? Look, let's just do what we came here to do. Get the combinations, get the clues, and let's get out of here. Now that sounds like a plan. Does everyone agree? I'm with you, Dad. Yes, sir. I guess so. I think that's what's best. Yeah, this has gone too far. Miss Myrtle, how about you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit distracted looking at Dead Man. You know. Yeah, man. Maybe we should we should move him. Him Lanny is definitely going to be a distraction. Man, I'm not moving no dead body. You sure had no problem killing him, though, did you? But you might want to say man, less. Man, don't worry about her. She's irrelevant. You got your boy here and Miss Myrtle as our grandson. I'm sure we can all move him into another room. At least until we figure out what's next. Fine, but who's gonna keep an eye on the women? We still don't know who the killer is. You don't got to worry about us. I told you. We are covered by the blood. Grandma, that's probably not the best reference at this time. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Well, you get my point, though. Yeah, somebody try to mess with us, she'll whop them with a purse. <coughs> White old people. Like I told you, this purse been bent. <laughs> One, two. What is taking them so long? Sweetie, calm down, they'll be right back. We hope so. Why would you say that? You see she already scared. Oh, what is 
taken him. Oh, excuse me. Please don't touch my things. The gas bar is right in there. Help yourself to that. And to answer your question, I told them to take him to the den. It's right down that hall. They'll be fine. Oh, you have your own beverage. What are you scared of poisoning? You might be right. And you don't have the gut. Maybe she doesn't. But I certainly did. Here we go. Here we go! Um, that's enough. We all got one mission, and that's to get out of here safely. Safely. Miss Myrtle, this is her house. I'm sure she has a way out. Actually, I don't. Butler didn't give me the combination, so guess what? I don't know any more than the rest of you. Sure. Sure? Are you serious right now? Do you really think that if I had the combinations to get out of here, I'd still be sitting in this chair with a killer on the loose? Come on, man. Oh, 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 calm down, calm down. Oh. It's just us. Y'all have got to start announcing Jeez. yourself when y'all walk back in the room to get all this so stuff figured out. Ooh. What's that? Uh, Erica, are you, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just thought it might be the killer. What? Erica, what in the world was passing out going to do if that was the killer? I heard one time that if you play dead, the killer will leave you alone. Why would he think you were dead just by passing out? Look, I don't know. It was the first thing that came to my mind. Come on, babe. You don't got to do all that. I'm here with you. I'll protect you. Who's going to protect you? Oh, I got me. <laughs> Unless you're playing a lasso and like a bull. I'm not sure what that's going to do. Oh, my God. Shut up, will you? Can you just focus, people, on finding the freaking clue so we can get out of here? Oh! Can we hold that rope real quick, Mike? Mm -mm, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. She gonna get hers soon enough. Well, we need to focus on finding the clues to get out of here. You're right, Miss Myrtle. Let's just all stop searching for these clues. Yeah, yeah you're right. Giblets. It's the first clue. Ooh. What does it say? And I'm trying to start by looking under your nose. Not everything is what it shows. Oh no. And that's it? Oh I should have known. I should have known. No, what? Rebecca, if you know something, you need to tell us. Those are not clues. They're riddles, and you're gonna have to figure them out in order for us to get up out of here. So now we gotta take a test too? Well, it's not really a test per se. Junior. Well, what does it mean? Start by looking right under your nose. Hmm. Not everything is what it shows. Well, that's an understatement. Look, I think we should just keep going. The clue is telling us we can't leave no stone left unturned. We got to look everywhere. Any and everything could be a clue. Yeah. I agree, Miss Myrtle. When we went to the back, there was the den and two bedrooms. Jenny and I will check back there. Mm -hmm. Kathy and Linda, you guys check over here in the family room. Miss Myrtle, you and Philip, you guys check right here in the dining room. Mm -hmm. Eric and Mike, you guys check the outer grounds. Okay, um... What about me? I don't want to be here by myself. I didn't want to lose my business, and you see how that turned out. Who left you in charge, Paul? Well, you can go check the room with the dead body. No, no, thank you. You got it. You right. got it. Right. Remember, everybody stay together. All right, now, Philip, you stay close to me. 
Grandma, why didn't you just listen to me? We don't need the money that bad. We need the money more than what you think, baby. But is it worth dying for? Oh, ain't nobody dying. Oh, I forgot. You got God and your purse. That's right. Oh, wait a minute. I found something. Everybody, look, I found something. Another clue. What does it say, Miss Myrtle? Turn around, then turn again. Not everyone is your friend. But if you focus on the task, the truth will soon be unmasked. So basically somebody with a mask is coming to next, right? Oh. Miss Myrtle, why did you bring him again? I clearly missed that part of the story. Leave my grandbaby alone. Wait a minute, just, just start again, read it again, read it again. Turn around, mm -hmm. then turn again. Okay. Not everyone is your friend. But if you focus on the task, the truth will soon be unmasked. Turn around, then turn again. Not everyone is your friend. Kathy, do you have something that you would like to tell me? Linda, you, you can't be serious right now. I'm really serious right now. It makes sense as to why the butler gave us each our own protection. He knew something that we didn't know, and that's that we couldn't trust each other. Man, this is ridiculous. Why would a group member hurt another group member if we need the other person to win? But why would the butler stress for us to be together if he knew at some point we would turn on each other? Look, hold it. I really don't think that's what the clue means. But even if it did, I mean, come on now. The next line says, if we just stay on task, everything will be unmasked. And that's what I was trying to oh, say. Oh, shut up. up. Oh, you oh, got to stop oh, about the mask, uh, man. Uh, you're uh, scaring the people, and you're making me look stupid. None of this is getting us any closer to finding the combinations to get out of here. Look, we can't quit now. We got to keep looking. How many clues? How would we know when we have all of the clues? There's six clues that I do know. Okay, so we got two. So let's get some more. What about what the clue says, though? About not being able to trust your partner? Are you sure you want to be left alone with your partner? Linda, do you think I would kill you? Kathy, I don't know what to think anymore. Move. Why do you keep following me and my son? Because I don't feel safe with anybody else. You shouldn't feel safe with me neither. Great, Dad. Now I don't feel safe. Hey, babe, stay behind me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Honey, stop making those weird noises. I'm trying, but I'm scared. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Erica, please. Who are you yelling at? I'm scared like everybody else. And I know you better get that rope away from me. Wait a minute, were you just about to strangle me? Were you just about to, help! Shh, woman, shh, up. ain't nobody strangling you. But I might have to rethink that decision if you don't keep quiet. Mike, I will take this poison and pour it down every hole in your body. Oh. What was that? Did you see that? Erica. Babe. Oh my God, not again, Erica. Is it gone? Is what gone? If you don't know, then we don't know if it's gone. Bye. <sighs> Honey, I don't want to yell. So I'm going to ask you nicely. Get off the ground and come on. Mike, you never know when passing out is going to come handy. Hey, what's that over there? Shine a light over there. I, I see it. Grab it. It's another clue. Come on, we gotta tell everybody else. Hey y'all, we found another clue. Oh, really? Great! Did Michael Arthur found the clue? Oh, 
What does it say? Well, read it. Stay together. Together is key. Stay together or never will be. What do they mean by never will be? Lord, this is getting out of hand. Butler, what are you doing? trying to warn y'all about? Where's Kathy? What? Where's my sister? Kathy? Okay, this game is over. I need to find my sister. I don't even care about the money anymore. This makes no sense. She could have just disappeared like that. She could, and she did. That's exactly what she did. Look, I, I don't know what Kathy is, but she, but she can't be too far. Let's just go look for her. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe while we're looking for clues, we can find Kathy too. Clues? Don't nobody care about these stupid clues anymore. We need to find my sister. Look, we all want to find her and we pray that she's safe, but it doesn't make any sense to find her and we're still stuck here. We have to kill two birds with one stone. Kit? Oh, Jesus, we killing men? We killing birds? It's just too much killing going on here for me. I know that's right, son. Call on his name. Grandma, I'm serious. I'm serious too. And there's some crazy stuff going on in here. Y'all better take heed to follow my lead. Hey, hey. You see what I did there? Sound like a clue of my own now, don't it? Listen, everybody, think about it for a second. I mean, seriously, it's highly unlikely that Kathy would still be on the premise. We don't want to hear anything you're saying. This is all your fault. You are grown. All of you are. And I did not ask any of you to come here tonight. Just like I didn't ask any of you to invest in my businesses. So if you ask me, this is all your fault. And that's exactly what I'll be telling the police as soon as they get here. Wait, hold up. You mean you trying to frame us? What you, I know we couldn't trust her. No, actually, I was trying to help you, idiots. You know what, Rebecca? For your safety and ours, I think we better keep you where we can see you. Hey, all right, I know where this is going. I, I, I don't know about this, y'all. Miss Myrtle, doesn't the Bible say something about making your enemies your footstool? We plan on stepping on it? If that's what it takes. What? Now, wait a minute. Wait, I think we should just tie her up in this one room. Are you serious? I mean, until we find out who the killer is. Exactly. <laughs> and exactly how do you think you want to do that? Huh? I knew it. I knew we couldn't trust her. You couldn't trust me? No, baby. I don't trust you. And now y'all think y'all just gonna mosey up to me and tie me up? <laughs> Over my dead body. Well, Jesus, 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 Lord, come on, Lord, power is more tight. What is going on in here? Baby, I'm so scared. Lord, Jesus, Jesus, come on, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Grandma, Jesus. get up. Jesus. Grandma, come on, get up. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know what? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Let me be. Let me. You see all this food that's going on in here? All of y'all need to be praying. Nah, what I need is this gun. What good did that do her? Who cares about her? We need to find my sister. You know what? Let's all look. But we gotta look together. And we can't separate from each other. Let's stay together, y'all. Agreed. Huh? Come on, Grandma. Uh-uh. I'm gonna stay right here. I done seen enough disappearing acts for one day. Miss Murphy, we can't leave you here by yourself. What if the killer comes back? Oh, you don't got to worry about me. All right, that's enough of this God and purse bit. We can't possibly be considering leaving this old woman in here by herself without a weapon, at least. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green Oh, edge. my goodness. 
He leadeth me beside still waters. I'm, uh, he restored my soul. You know what? She's cool. She'll be all right. Let's Absolutely. Go. Everybody stay close. You ain't got to tell me twice. Shh. But the way y'all talking, y'all going to scare off the killer. Now, I never heard something so foolish in my life. Why wouldn't we want to scare off the killer? Shh. Everybody be quiet and keep the flashlight this way. Oh, you thought I was playing. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Oh, okay, okay. See, I got to pull out the big gun for you. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. Grandma, Grandma, you okay? Who, me? Oh, I'm fine. I told you. My God and my purse is all Miss Murphy needs. Do you think I can get one of those purses you got? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. You can't have my purse, but I would love to introduce you to my God. Okay, that's it. No one leaves out. We all stay in this one room. Listen, guys, that's what the queen was trying to tell us all along. Remember? Stay together. Together is key. Stay together or never will be. We should have listened. We should have stayed together. This is your fault, Paul. My fault. You was next to your wife when she got taken. How you gonna blame me? Listen, guys, no sense in place to blame. We are all at a standstill right here. All of us. Man, I need a drink. Hey, what's that? What? There's something on the bottom of that bottle. Oh, it's another clue. What Does is that? Does one plus one equal two or 11? Is two plus five 25 or seven? What? Man, these clues are getting more and more ridiculous as the game goes on. Guys, that's probably the combination. Does one plus one equal two or 11? Is two plus five 25 or seven? I don't get it. Maybe we will once we get all the clues. If we live to find them all, we seem to be disappearing quicker than the speed of light. I just want my wife. Wait a minute. So that's it? We just gonna give up and let them win? I don't think there's nothing else we can do, Ms. Murph. Yeah, nothing besides sit here and wait to be taken. Maybe then I get to be with my wife. You know, there was a story in the Bible. Oh my goodness. That's right, I'm going back to the Bible because that's what works for me. And it seems to be the only thing that worked thus far. She had the point, Philip. What did the scripture say, Miss Myrtle? Well, there was a story in the Bible about Paul and Silas. They got locked up for telling people about the good news of God. They were locked away, couldn't get out. Sound familiar? Yes, ma'am. Well, when, when they were locked up, they didn't just sit there and, and, and just wallow in their situation. They sang and gave praises to God right there in the prison. They worshiped God. And then what happened? Oh my goodness. She got the YouTube? Well, I'm glad you asked. Well, the ground got the shaking and the building got the rock and back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, an earthquake. And they were having an earthquake. Sometimes God has got to shape the very core of your situation to get you to move. So what happened after the earthquake? Well, after the earthquake, they were free. Yeah, they were free, but what she's not telling you is that the doors were open, the chains were broken, but they stayed there. They stayed right there. Well, that's no help. Listen, Paul and Silas stayed there for a great good. A, a much bigger picture than what y'all can see right now, but y'all don't have to do that. I don't get it. I mean, we still here. We're locked up. And there's no earthquakes, remember? 
So y'all just missed the part about the worship. They sang and gave praises to God. What you want us to say? No, I want you to worship. I told you, y'all started this. Hey, Miss Byron, why don't you come on over here and read me a little bit of that Bible you were talking about? Girl, don't patronize me. Come on, y'all. Let me show you. All you got to say. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Okay, so I say, I'm a soldier. Y'all reply, in the army of the Lord. You ready? You got it? I'm a soldier.
I built the house. So what happened in the house? As I made those fixes, all on me. All I know is that we were in it for the money then, and we're in it for the money now. You know what, Paul? I understand that. I'm in the same boat, actually. I came here for that same reason. My sister, she's been there for me in so many ways. When I was in prison, she was the only person that was there. She took care of me. She helped me out. She bailed me out. She put a house up for me. When I got out of prison and I couldn't find a job, she took care of me. So I figured if I could come here and win this money, $10,000, I could present that to her as a gift to say thank you for everything that you've done. I guess it's not going to happen anymore. But I had it all planned out as to how I was going to present it to her. I guess you guys can see I'm pretty theatrical. You still may be able to do that. scholarships for school and things are looking pretty good. Listen, I love how you love me. Just don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Dad, there's nothing you can do to make me disappointed in you. You built that company from the ground up just like you said. It was stolen from you. Winning that money is not to fix it because there's nothing to fix. I love you, man. together or apart never really had anything to do with whether you were going to win the money in the first place. Excuse me? <laughs> Don't you stress none, Myrtle. You good with your God in your purse, right? Your empty purse, that is. <laughs> you got that right. One way or the other, I'm going to be fine. We all are. <sighs> hey! 
So, you all don't need my money. And I wasn't giving it to you in the first place. <laughs> you never gonna clear us up, were you? Ding, 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 ding. wasn't just for fun. If you really want the answer, let the two become one. All along, we always knew this wasn't just for fun. That's what I've been saying the whole game. Now the clue says it, and everyone listens. No, no, I'm saying Clearly, this has not been about the game. But what does let two become one mean? All right, guys, why don't we try looking at the clues all together? Start by looking under your nose. Not everything is what it shows. Turn around, then turn again. Not everyone is your friend. Stay together. Together is key. Stay together or never will be. Does one plus one equal two or eleven? Is it's 2 plus 5, 25, or 7? Have you shared what's on your heart? If your loved one is lost, are you, are you willing, willing to pay the cost? All along, you always knew this wasn't just for fun. If you really want the answer, let the two become one. <laughs> this is so freaking. Ridiculous. Listen, everybody. My butler has been playing y'all like a fiddle all night. <laughs> he fell for well, it. Rebecca, you were with us the whole time, so if the butler was playing us, then he was playing you too. These clues are talking about being betrayed like we all were, then losing trust in each other. Like we all did. But we shared what was on our heart, and we're better for it, right? Yes, ma'am. What about the numbers, though? The numbers have to do with the combination. Maybe we need to manipulate some numbers. Right, but where do we find the numbers to manipulate? All along, we always knew. One. Mine's is five. Four. Two. Three. Eight. Six. Five. If you really want the answer, let the two become one. Thirty-eight. Fifty-six. Fifteen. Forty-two. This is preposterous. How could you possibly know that the numbers go in that order? Really? Because it is simple. The first number is the leader of the groups. Whatever. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hey! Congratulations. Y'all successfully won the game. Oh, my goodness. I thought what the what you, you did, but none of you bothered to check my pulse to see if I was still alive. Why would you do something like that? That was just mean. For the greater good, just like you said, Miss Myrtle. Oh, but I am so happy to see you. I wouldn't be so sure about that, ma'am. Excuse me? Well, as you all know, the host here had no intentions of paying you all for winning the game. I am not by the least bit surprised by this notion. So what I have done was deposited $10,000 in each of you all's accounts, courtesy of the host, of course. <laughs> Some things just stick with you for a long time. And you all have been on my mind and my heart for a very long time. And I was around for each of your losses. So I do not call this stealing because the money belonged to you all in the first place. No, the money was mine. Wait a minute. That's what you were doing in my ledger last night. I knew I couldn't trust you. I felt it. Well, do 
you should have went with your gut just like they should have about you. <sighs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said yourself that I only had $80,000 in right. assets. So you can't give away anything that's not liquid. I sold your stocks. Oh my God. <laughs> You bankrupted me. I don't have anything left. I can't even pay you. Oh, how about that? I quit. <gasps> that felt better than I thought it ever would. <laughs> Come on here, Butler. <sighs> heard the last of Rebecca Williams. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna drink to my success right now. That's right, Myrtle. <laughs> I'm speaking my success into existence. Uh, is she all right? Oh no. What did you do? Oh no, not again. <clears throat> uh, is she? Did? Yup. Well, oh, but, but you don't know. Paul, go, go check. Well, I gotta be the designated dead body. Check the post. Check the post this time. So strong and things. She's dead. Uh, well, who killed her? I was nowhere near her. Don't look at me. Grandma, you the one who kept saying she was going to reap what she sowed. I mean, she will. Dead. I mean, look, I don't know. I just know I didn't do it. Everybody put your hands up. Somebody called about a murder. It took me forever to find this place. Which one of you are the killer? I did it! As you all know, yes, I was the one who killed Rebecca. But, as I said in the beginning, this was truly a night to die for. Mm-hmm. <laughs>